A very good evening to you. <laughs> it's rolling. Yes, I got the microphone on. Hopefully you can hear me. Right. Okay. So back tonight. Um, as I said, we're going to do this week and next week with still the January packs with the hearts because, <laughs> you know, I, I, I was sick and then we started a week late. So we're going to do a couple more weeks and then we are going to dive into a new pack, which I will be sorting out next week. Right. What shall we do today? Do let me know in the chat what sort of beadwork you want to do. I don't know. I kind of fancy something tiger tailish. I haven't grabbed the tiger tail out of the cupboard yet, but I fancy something maybe a bit of stringing, or we could do like a. Oh, we could do like a uh, because you got all the beads there. Um, we could do like a multimedia, but I can't do that with tiger. You'll need thread for that. Um, where we go in and out of smaller beads, maybe maybe we do like a little bit of um, stitches in between. So what shall we do? Shall we do stay with stitching tonight, or shall we do tiger tail? Let me know in the chat. I just gonna go and bring a couple of stuff up here so I can see it. I also got a picture to show you. Um, Jean, lovely. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can hear myself. There we go. I just bought it up just in case if the chat goes down. I have got, hi Barbara from Florida. Let us know how's the weather there. Good evening, Edward. Good evening, Rachel. Good evening, Lucy. Let me know. Um, good evening, Michelle. Um, Sharon is here. Good evening. She says, good evening, creative beading years. Um, Michelle is saying, hi everyone, I have been beading about 15 years, but only really improved in the last couple of years, thanks to Totally Beads Lives and the Bead Club. Oh, Michelle, um, th um, thank you too, thank you for being here. Right, so th there is a question pinned to the top, beach. what I would like you to tell me is how long have you been beading? Because some of us, it's only be some, some people beading longer and some people beading less. I don't know, just put some lip seal on because my lips are so dry at the moment um <laughs> my nails it's winter time i guess um so let us know how long have you been beading um it, there it's not competition it's like some people beading longer some people beading less but just sort of uh, want to know like what sort of you know the, how how long has beading been your passion i guess because for me, I've done all sorts of different crafts. I've done, you know, from crocheting to paper crafts to knitting, so all sorts of things. But when I came across beading, I know that was it. Like, I, I fall in love with it. So let me know how long have you been a beading? Okay, so what shall we do? I need you to let me know what shall we do in terms of... Um, we're going to do the multimedia. I'm going to start off with the multimedia and then we see. So I'm going to get... I'm going to go back and get thread. I'm, I'm, I'm going to work with thread again. I need a needle. So I'm going to grab a needle and then we're going to choose our beads. So when I'm saying multimedia necklace, it is a, usually it's, well, if you're in a bead club, you know that um, we done a herringbone necklace not that long ago. And that herringbone, no, uh, that herringbone necklace I called an opera necklace because um, it referred to the length of it. So when I'm thinking of multimedia necklace, and actually I can grab that necklace to show you one second. Um, when I'm thinking of multimedia necklace, when I'm thinking of a multimedia necklace, I want to do something which is long like this. Just come to the main camera. So it's long like this, but um, we're gonna add larger and smaller beads all together. And we're gonna make kind of like a little pattern. So some, I think between two beads, we can have sections where we, two larger beads, we can have section when we've got perhaps three or four strands of smaller beads. And then we can have some sections where there is a bit more plain, right? Let me go down. Zoom in one more and we can get started. So, Cher was saying she's been beading since November 2021. 
well done lucy saying i've been beating since you started the lives on lockdown so nearly two years now i still class myself as very new cherry is saying hold on i can push these in so you can read it as well good evening kitty not long i've been uh, guilty buying beads but not using them or oh, you're in the right place that's what we do what's that's what we're doing here we are kind of like beading together you can whatever i do you whatever you have in your stash you can kind of work with it and just have it like you know just use different beads but you could do the same techniques so i'm here every sunday night at 7 p.m um i'm initially saying i've also done knitting cross stitch and card making oh i done cross stitch as well um <laughs> long long time ago now um i really do do enjoy a bit of cross stitch sometimes um there is someone at the door and I'm the only one at home. I'm going to have to open it. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> They're starting the night off. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Lucy forgot her key. It was only Lucy. Never mind, let her in. I could I could not I couldn't let her stay out in the cold, could I? Bless her. Oh, that would be like wicked mother, wouldn't it? <laughs> until until we finish here. Yeah, Lucy, you're not coming in, you're staying out until we finish here. So going back, Joy saying, Hi Kitty, happy Sunday. I think I've been beating for about four or five years. Um so anybody who don't know Joe, Joe's our little we call her little Miss Rainbow. She's she's like absolutely I, th I don't think there's any project she hasn't done with Miracle Beads. But um, have you done, Joe, a project without Miracle Beads? Do let us know. I'm curious. Right, I'm just quickly going to get the picture of what a Jean sent me. So I can, I can um, show it to you all. There we go. Going into downloads and I have to grab the picture out. Then I can bring in before I get started. So Jean Don, actually we could put a pendant in the middle now thinking because we've got loads of pendants. Um, let me just zoom out a little bit on it. So that's what Jean done last week. She's done a, um, Natalie did a live, was it on uh, um, Monday? I think it was, um, with a beautiful heart and that's uh, some wire wrapping on it. So Jean done some wire wrapping on the heart and just like sort of strung the necklace up. I think it looks really, really beautiful. I really do love it. So, um, Lindsay's saying she's been beating for eight years now. Ale saying, hi Kitty, you are looking really well tonight. You must have really enjoyed the open day yesterday. Boohoo one day. I've been addicted since the first lockdown. Oh, bless you. But open day was really great. It was so nice to see everybody. We're going to have to arrange something some point for everybody to come together. Um, Louis saying, hi everyone. I've been beading on and off for seven years, but I had a long break and went back to beading. Sorry, before the first lockdown. It's like once once you're a beader, always a beader, isn't it? Am I right? Once you're a beader, you're always a beader. Oh, Caroline, you're not late. We're just getting started. Um, Lucy's saying that looks really lovely, Jean. So I'm hoping that Jean is joining us and, um, or, or she will she will see it later. It was a lovely, lovely picture. Anybody else, if you had make anything from the packs, do send it to me on Messenger and then I can bring it in and I can show it to everybody as well. Uh, Lucy's saying, our oh, Joe is our little Miss Rainbow. Yes, absolutely. Haha, oh, yes, I've made lots with Heaven Tight Rainbow Coat in. Well, that doesn't really count. Right, okay, so um, I'm going to I'm gonna vaguely design this. And then we're going to make stuff as we go along. So I want to use some of the hearts because I think they're going to be they're gonna be really cute in there. Let me just push these out. And actually, I'm going to have to cut this off and get them into some piles. Now, I, I am very aware of if you use the hearts sort of going around. Let me just zoom out so you can see more of the table. I'm very well aware of the heart. If you use it the same way going all the way around, then some of them might be ending up upside down but then we're going to have a continuous necklace which doesn't really matter how we wear so what shall we do shall we have come to a focal point 
if you could do a tesla in the middle if you come to focal point or shall we do like a continuous length and just don't care about some of the hearts being upside down what shall we do upside down or not upside down that is the question tonight debbie's here good evening debbie I hope you are great and I'm gonna get some of these eight millimeter beads and we're gonna put in between or even we can put two and then we could put other beads in between this now we're gonna need a really long thread because you're gonna go around the necklace quite a few times it's gonna be a lot of stringing but um, because you're gonna go around it's gonna make it really nice and strong so and then we're gonna go take even oh, i'm gonna put this beautiful hematite hearts in there as well obviously we're gonna have to make this longer we could put the smaller hearts in between just like that this is just give us a vague idea we're not necessarily gonna follow this pattern and we can add we can always make things up as we go along um kelly's here hi kelly she says finally she has her feet up so kelly i have to say to everybody like if you haven't checked kelly out go and check her out she reached five thousand subscribers on her youtube channel today which is amazing <laughs> really really amazing so congratulations she's really hard at work with all her card craft and loads of and and, and loads of sort of dibble dabble into painting and other bits of pieces as well so what are we going to do? Are we going to care about some of the hearts will be upside down as we're wearing a necklace or not? I really need to know. Do let me know, do let me know in the chat. And then I'm going to take some smaller pearls and smaller crystals. And we're going to make, I'm, uh, I'm just going to break this down and put them in piles. I'm not going to add them in. Uh, we were going to pick them up as we we'll go along. But we're kind of going to use almost quite a few, quite a few different sizes and shapes oh everybody's saying well done kelly well done kelly you know you know like it's really is like doing youtube and doing um any sort of you know lives or or even on facebook or anywhere else it is is like really hard work because in the end of the day you have to like tonight one is not too bad because like we create together but any other night like what kelly usually does pre-recorded videos like you know you have to like for me as well when we do the, even when we do the lives um or totally or, or if, if i do a pre-recorded video now you have to prepare your project once you prepared your project you need to make well you have to come up with an idea us crafters like for other people who just like talking heads for i guess they just sort of have to imagine or have to write up how they do the video but of crafters we have to come up with the project first once we came up with the projects then we have to work out a sample like for us beaders we need to make if it's a a, a stitched bracelet or necklace or, or earrings or anything we do we're gonna have to like work out the thread paths and have to work out the whole project once we worked out the whole project we have to make a sample up once we made the sample up then you kind of like you want to test it with another colorway that it's going to be going to be working so in my um in my line i turn them into kits and when i turn them into kits i do have to and where did i put my thread there we go i do have to um write up instructions so that can take depending on how many pages up that can take quite a long time as well um doing the instructions and then you might make up more colorways more samples to show off um it is it takes a long time and i i myself and i'm, I'm sure kelly too we usually end up in the evening like in front of the tv and doing samples and like we really enjoy what we do i guess like this is <laughs> this is a life of a crafter really enjoy what we do and but i guess my point is to make a 10 minute video on, on something it could take you maybe 30 hours 40 hours of prep work um so it's it's well done very well done kelly it's it's a big big milestone so i want this necklace to be about um maybe 80 centimeters 90 centimeters long so i want it quite nice and long so i'm gonna have to go and pick up 
um, enough beads going around. Now I'm just I'm just going to do this with needle and thread because, and I will tell you what the difference. So if you do it on tiger tail, it's going to be more stiff. If you do it with needle and thread, then what happens is um, it becomes more fluid in a way, and it's like sort of has more of a movement movement in it. Deborah Singh enjoying this. I'm very grateful for my tribe and support. Like Kitty has been amazing. Oh, bless you. We're very grateful for you as well. Great achievement, Kelly. Hello, everyone. Thank you for Celia for letting me know, Kitty. <laughs> oh, I love this. <laughs> You're letting each other. That's amazing, Kelly. Well done. Um, everybody's saying, Kelly's saying thank you. Right. Okay. So um, there's so many different things we could do. So I kind of vaguely want to keep the pattern of having maybe a larger bead and a hard bead and maybe a small bead but what we're going to put in between these beads or maybe I'm going to add I know what I'm going to do so I'm going to kind of keep kind of keep this this the same so the um, the heart and the, the two larger beads or actually not to let's do the two pearls where the heart is no no i'm going to stick with that we probably put the pearl in between we picked up our pearls sort of going down in size and coming up in size where the pearl is so i'm going to put a pearl a smaller pearl i probably put like maybe a smaller crystal as well and then maybe an even smaller pearl or a seed bead um we see when we pick up how's it going to look and then we're going to keep the larger heart part is going to be the same as well in between so we're going to alternate between these two and what we will add between these two sections is gonna be gonna have we can make up all sorts of different patterns so it's gonna be like <laughs> there's gonna be elements in there which just goes all the way around and it's exactly the same but then we could do different stitches in between and do so if we keep to i would say maybe one inch or two inch sections in between i think that will look really good so if i keep this part very similar as well so i'm just going to put the pearl and i'm just going to pop this here so i know that i'm keeping to maybe the six mil crystal as well that sort of pattern and i think we will add a seed bead in because i don't want to add the two mil pearl which has got the very small pearl in there or the very small crystals just in case i won't be able to go through it again so probably either at a pearl or a seed bead there so those are the two patterns we're going to have so i'm going to start off with one of the patterns and need some more of the six mil and i'm just going to leave this here so i can visually come back to this and pick up the same beads when I come around again to that pattern. Four mil. I just need, let me just get these out of the way so then you can see better what's going on here. And I think we add the six mil in there as well. So they're going to be exactly the same. Right, so six, six mil crystal, six mil pearl, four mil crystal, four mil pearl. And then I'm going to pick up a heart. Now I'm always going to pick up the hearts from top to down. So they're all going to face exactly the same way. So we don't get mixed up with it. And then I'm going to graduate out. So I'm going to pick up a... I need to move these beads to this side. <laughs> Otherwise I keep going to be reaching across myself. Oh, I know. I know. I've got one more idea. I should shall add. Oh no, maybe, maybe we'll be all right. So, pearl, crystal, larger pearl, larger crystal. Move those over as well, and then an eight mil. So that's going to be one one section. So from here, I want to get to this section and we're going to pick up the same with the large hearts, but we could do a one um, inch, maybe two inch worth of stitching with seed beads just to give that little bit of element 
of something a little bit more intricate. So I'm going to start off. I'm not going to I'm not going to use very small beads for this one. And we could use the smaller crystals going around as well. But I'm not going to use a very small one. So I'm going to start off with I'm going to use size 8. So I'm going to pick up what shall we do? We could do just a straight. We could do like a little right angle weave. Um, right angle weave parts. And then we will equalize it around from the other side. So I'm going to pick up five of my seed beads. And actually, I'm going to use the size 11 in between. Cool. Okay, so I've got, got, got a plan. So I picked up five. I'm going to come through. Let me just wrap this around my finger. I'm going to come through the first one again so i'm going to put this into like a little we could do six and we could put a pearl in the middle we do that in the next section there's so many different things we could do so i do need to get to the top where we're we going to have so we're going to have one two three four five so i don't that's going to be the same as the other one should have started with four Um, or am I going to go down on that? No, because that's going to come there. Okay. So I'm going to go up one more. Then I'm actually going to pick up a... Let me zoom in so you can see it better. I'm going to... I picked up... I started with five. So I then went through the first two. Just need a few size 11 and I'm going to, we could actually add the pearls in here, but I'm going to add the size 11 in here and let's see how does it look. So I'm going to add in the size 11 just there. I'm going to pick up another size 11, go through the next size 8. So they're just going to sit in there like little, kind of like picos, angers. But if I add another size 8 in there, then the shape what we're going to be, would be creating would be more sort of a square because we're going to go down to size 11 at the moment then the shape we are creating is will be more of a round now we all the way around don't worry about those beads are they sliding up and down and then we're going to miss this bead very the bottom and come through the size 8 on the other side and pull this nice and tight so it's still squarish but it's a bit more rounded square. And that now I'm going to come up and I want to come out. I'm going to come to the top. Just follow my thread path. And I want to come out of the size 11 bead just here. And I'm going to pick up four size 8 beads. Let's actually move this out just a little bit so it doesn't get out of the way. Because, you know, I will be sending those beads flying quite easily so I'm going to pick up four of my size eight I'm going to come through the 11 from the other side just like that then I'm going to come up through the first size eight just one I'm going to pick up an 11 and then come through the second size eight Pull that tight, pick up another 11, go through the next one. I'm going to pull this through and keep pick up another 11. Then I'm going to come through the next 8 and I'm going to come up through the 8 on the other side. So I'm going to miss the 11, which is sitting in between. Hi Mina, Mina is here. Good to see you, lovely. Good evening, Anne is here. I'm just catching up if I missed any of your chat. Um, Celia's here, good evening. Deborah's saying she's enjoying this. Everybody's saying hi to Mina. <laughs> right, if you've got any questions, please let me know in the... <laughs> where you've been, Ruth, Ruth is here, not late. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> right. I'm going to, as I did my 11s, I'm going to come up to the top and I want to come out of the 11 right at the top. So we're just going to create these little squares. Maybe do, I don't know, 
maybe do three of these or five of these let me know in the chat shall we do three squares or five squares and at the moment it does look like a little bit this is on a um sort of an angle but when we come all the way around we're going to come through the other side of the bead at the bottom and that will then pull that bead into the middle so it won't look wonky so don't worry about that if it's looks a little bit wonky now it won't look wonky when we finish with it so i'm picking up four size eight so i'm doing three or am i doing five of these little squares do let me know in the chat i'm going up the first size eight Lucy, vicky's saying three lucy's saying five and ruth is saying please click the like button to show our appreciation thank you oh thank you ruth for for reminding i always forget to say but every single like every single sub every sub subscribe every single you know it helps really helps to churn it out right, i'm going all the way around so i'm always going through the next bead i'm not skipping over any beads when i'm adding the 11s and when i get to the bottom that's where i skip the 11 and i just go through the size 8 on the other side Joe is saying, I'm just learning to use my circuit, so it looks like your videos will help me. Kelly, oh, bless you. There you go, Kelly. <laughs> You're going to be like... I think a lot of people, like, they do use all sorts of different crafts. You're going to have to be, you're going to have to be live with me some point. Right, okay, Deborah is saying three. Okay, so I'm going to stop at three then. Lou saying three as well, and from here... Um, Oh, I should have put it a size eight on there then. Um, what shall we do? I'm not going to take it back. I'm going to add one more because the top one should be, sorry. <laughs> the top one should be size eight, not size 11. So we have the same on both sides. Or maybe I should have started with a size 11. But never mind. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to add one more. So it looks even, even though when it's, it's the whole necklace won't be uneven. But um, and I think that's just me. That's just a small little details that um, I always like to pay attention to. <laughs> Lucy's saying, I want a circuit, but I need bees more. <laughs> Kelly, why have you started here? <laughs> Maybe we need to do we need to do some we need to do something together. We need to do some beaded cards. We could do some oh, we could do some POT stitch or or brick stitch little charms and what you could glue on cards how about that that would be really cute or something or little charms or or anything but then it's not just cards it's all sorts of different things with home decor you could do i think that would be amazing and i just added the 11 in again because i'm talking and i'm not paying attention to what i'm doing oh man this evening is not starting well but you know what they say well, I th I think this is a Hungarian saying. When when they say when something starts like bad, it's gonna end. It's gonna end good. So we had the doorbell going, and all sorts of things. So I'm gonna gonna add five. Please <laughs> remind me <laughs> that when I get to the top, I have to add. So I'm adding an eleven. Then I have to add an eight, and then an eleven. So it's even. So eleven. Then I'm adding an eight. Then I'm adding another eleven. Oh, Rachel thinks she's got a circuit too. And adding another eleven. Then coming down. And then going back up. And I'm gonna go back up to the top. So the next when I'm going to pick up, I'm going to pick up the same pattern, but with the small heart, just to make it a little bit different. And again, it's only going to be connected on one side of the seed beads. But when we come back, we're going to come back around and weave our thread around. And perhaps what we can do when we come back around, maybe not four millimeter pearl, maybe I get the two mils out, but we could add a pearl into the middle. I think that would look really good as well. Um, eggs, chicks or bunnies for Easter would be nice. Yeah, we could do that. We could like bead little eggs or something like that to put on um, anything. Right, so I'm going to pick up the pattern. So I'm going to pick up one larger bead. I'm going to pick up, maybe I should have added a 
probably in there, but never mind. Crystal, six mil. You do six mils. Then four mil crystal, four mil pearl. Again, I'm gonna pick up one of these hearts. I'm gonna pick it up from the top to the bottom. Then I'm going back out in size. So pearl, four millimeter crystal, six millimeter pearl, six millimeter crystal, and another eight eight millimeter bead. So that's our first section. I think that kind of looks quite, quite kind of cute. So what sort of we, we now doing that? Let me just zoom out a little bit. So now for the next section, we can, we can do a different sort of stitch. So it doesn't doesn't have to be that. We could quite simply for the next section do a. Um, if I want to do it in one go, then I'm going to have to pick up. Um, I'm going to pick up a size eight. Then I'm going to do a string of uh, a string for this. So I'm going to pick up a size eight, and this will be my anchor bead. And then I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to do. I'm going to do how many how many seed beads do I need for that? Should I do it in size eight or eleven? So I'm going to do eight and eleven. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to do five, and a crystal. One, two three, four, five. That will be about the same length, maybe a little bit less, but never mind. And I'm going to pick up another size eight. So I picked up six size eight, a crystal six size eight. Now I am going to pick up, or should we go back first? Turn back. I'm going to have to pull this up tight. Um, we're going to come through that and then come through there. So now uh, we could do this section. If I go back up to the top, we've got plenty of, um, and I'm not going to be in the right place. So I'm going to have to pick up going back up as well. Okay. So I'm, I want, want these sections. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up the same again. So I'm going to pick up, but I don't want the crystal in the same place. So I want 10 more size eights. With a crystal so this time i'm going to pick up three size eight a crystal and seven size eight there we go that's right and i'm gonna go up i might need it i'm gonna go up through this speed so i'm gonna go through the first size eight again just like that from the larger bead and pull this tight. So we've got kind of like a loop, but we're not going to finish here. We're not going to finish here. Actually, what we could do before we go any further, and then we don't have to come back on ourselves, to go all the way back on this section before we go any further. But let me just add another loop. So now I'm going to pick up three size eights again. A crystal and seven size eight. So the crystal will be further up on this 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 strand. One, two, three, and I need to go through this very bottom one. And we will anchor this bottom seed bead to the next. Now we could do more than three rows, or we could just have it three. Maybe do maybe do two more, or maybe one or two more. Um, I think it would look good because it would be more sort of maybe two more will be more of a rounder. So on the next one, I'm going to add four size eight, a crystal and six size eight. By the way, I'm making this up as I go along, so <laughs> it might not work. You know that. Um, Lucy Singh, I've been working on my Violet Treasure POT bracelet today. Might have to stop now. Oh, the light isn't so good. Oh, I, oh, I've seen a picture. That was um, Lucy sent to me. So again, I'm going to go through the very top one, the, the very top seed bead. So when I pull this in, this is just going to give us another naughty thread. Don't be naughty. We don't want naughty thread tonight. So I need to bring this up. And just make sure 
hold this nice and tight and that's already yeah that's the one I wanted to pull to the top and then pull on that I want to make sure this is a little bit um, I think I'm gonna have to go through it anyway there we go that's tightened up a little bit so I'm gonna go back down and I'm gonna add one more section there I'm gonna let me wrap this around because I want this really tight even though I will go back to it again with, with size 11s you can have more of a tighter finish I guess with a size 8 because they got so big holes on them sometimes it's a little bit trickier to pull them tighter because the thread will keep trying to travel backwards so <clears throat> what I'm going to do I will have to add one more to get to the bottom but before I do that I'm going to go up and this will actually tighten it up further I'm going to go up through these beads up through these single beads we added just go through all of them it helps if you got a long a needle and your thread doesn't tangle that would help even more there we go up through this and now I'm going to come through the other side of that seed bead so when I pull this down that will centralize over my um, my bead there and then I'm going to go back down through all of those beads and there we go Just pulling it all down I'm going and when I get to the bottom here I'm gonna go through that size 8 oh, there's another way one more other way we could do it we do that in the next section um, I'm gonna come through from the other side so this size 8 is connected on this side to that larger bead so I'm gonna come from the other side and when I pull this up I'll just release some of the thread when I pull that up then that will be pulled to the middle as well so can you see like here we put it's kind of centralized and we just centralized it at the bottom as well now I need to pick up one more of this section so I'm going to pick up four size eight one crystal then six size eight one two three four five six there we go and I'm gonna go through that bottom one again which is this one which is I know which one is it because all of the strands are connected to that one single bead and there we go so we got another little section like a little bubbly section can you see so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick up my pattern I'm gonna pick up the one with the larger heart so I'm gonna go ahead large bead and then six millimeter crystal six millimeter pearl come on where is the hole four millimeter crystal four millimeter pearl going top to bottom four millimeter pearl four millimeter crystal six millimeter pearl six millimeter crystal and then our bead at the bottom so because we're adding these sections in the necklace is already quite nice long i haven't got my um rulers christopher borrowed it <laughs> probably about, about a week ago now and hasn't returned it so we've got two sections let me just zoom out so you can see it better We've got two sections now, um, which is like a little bit more intricate. What do we think so far? Um, let me know. And now we can add another little element. So maybe we could go back and add another one of these. Or, you know, we could add, we could add any stitch really in between what we want to do. Um, 
we could just add like little bubbles. We could do that as well. That would look really good as well. They'll be saying love it. Um, so all sorts of different things um, we could do. I, I, I like the, doing things like that because you have got the element, elements which is same all throughout the necklace. <laughs> so this is my way of doing a um, an uneven necklace. And then you can have elements which is like kind of different all the way around. Who's saying gorgeous so far? Love it. Okay, so... Um, what shall we add for the next little bauble um, or bundle or I, I really like the look of this to be honest this is my favorite so far um, I got another idea and I'm gonna get out in size 6 beads I'm gonna pick up a size 8 then I'm gonna pick up a size 6 then I'm gonna pick up let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, size 11 another size 6 Another five, size 11. Another size six. Is that maybe... Maybe one more section will be too big. So I'm going to leave it at that. And now I'm going to pull this down. Now what we're going to do, we're going to come back through. We're going to miss the size eight. We're just going to come back through the six. Just like that. We're going to pick up, I'm going to pull this up nice and tight. We're going to pick up another five size 11. One, two, three, four, five. Then go through the size six, going back up on our cells. So like you could, if you wanted to, you could do like a little herringbone stitch in between. You could do like so many different ones. But I think sometimes... Like just doing a bit of stringing like this makes it look like quite nice as well. Right, I'm on the top. Now I'm going to come through. One, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they're the same amount. I'm going to come through that size eight again on the top. And maybe I want to go down two or three times to really add like two little, two little bubbles in here. And then go through the size six. Another five, one, two, three, four, five. Going through that six. And then another five at the bottom. Sh shall I go back and add more or do you think that is enough? Is three strands is enough or do we need to add more? What do you think? Let me know in the chat. What shall we do? Three strands or five strands for the bottom there? It kind of looks really good with three, to be honest. It's kind of look like a three, three, three bead herringbone or something, but it just, it kind of looks really good. Let me zoom in on it so you can see it better. I kind of like it with three. Like it's, do, do we want any more or are we happy with the three? I'm just making sure, pulling it tight. I'm going to go through the size eight at the top. Vicky's saying five. Michelle is saying, I think three is enough. I'll tell you what we do. I'll do a, I'll leave this as three. We do another section. We do something else and we can do one with five. So we can compare the two each other. So I'm picking up my smaller heart ones this time. Again. Lucy is saying three. Mina is saying three. So we do that. We do three, we leave the three here and then we come back on another section and we do five and then we will be able to compare how does it look. Right. There we go. Okay, next section. What shall we do here? What shall we do here? Any preference from Abby and anybody? What shall we do on this section here? We could do, we could do, let's just see, we could do sort of a, a um, sort of a zigzag 
stitch we could do we could do more of sort of bubble look i think i'm preferring the bubble look to to a flat stitch so i think if we do do a flat stitch but we don't just have to use seed beads we got larger beads here as well to use so we could even have um we could have anything like anything we like so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go and start with a size eight just need a few more size eight let's do let's do another um and then i'm gonna pick up how should i do it i'm gonna pick up a should like a little sort of not quite a lot of um like a, a pot kind of like shall we do it all in size eight but no i'm going to use the size sixes because then we can do a pearl so i'm going to pick up a size six i'm going to pick up one two three four five i think we need seven and then we'll add some pearls in it okay so we've got seven then I'm going to pick up a size 8 and I'm going to turn back and I'm going to go through the first size 6. Then I'm going to go ahead, pull this tight, nice and tight. I'm going to pick up another size 6 and go, miss one and go through the next one. Then I'm going to go ahead, pick up another size 6, miss one and go through the next one. And then I don't want to add... I don't want to add any more size six at the bottom because I want to have kind of like a focal point. Maybe we should have started with six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. I picked up one less one. Had to be because like what? What's going on? Like this is not going to work. <laughs> I said seven and I picked up six. Why? Well, I'm very quickly going to have to grab go back to the top because uneven number even number is not going to work for an uneven pattern. Oh dear. This must be, I don't know. I only had, I, I heart, a hand on my heart. I only had one coffee today because we run out of milk. And then like, I just got busy all day. So I never had my second coffee today. So maybe that's why it's, let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. So missing the size eight, going through the size six. And then I'm going to hold on to that size 8 and pull this up nice and tight. Picking up a size 6, missing one, going through the next. Picking up another size 6, missing one, going through the next. I'm not sure how would be the best. Let me just, let me just hold on to it so I can keep a tight tension. How you can see it best. And I'm going to pick up one last one. Make sure this is nice and tight and miss one and go through the last one. Then I'm going to go through the size eight as well. I would rather come back on that size eight because that will be have to be turned. And then I'm going to turn around. So now I'm going to run down on one side and run back on the other side. But this time I'm going to go through the first two beads. One, two. And actually, I'm going to introduce, let's introduce some pearls in here. So I'm going to pick up a four mil pearl and go through. So you can see the beads kind of like sticking out there. So I'm going to go through the beads which are sticking out. So I'm going to go through just this one here. There we go. And then I'm going to pick up another pearl and go to the bottom. And I'm not just going to go through this one. I'm going to go to the single one all the way to the top so we got like little can you see like we got a little kind of like a pot stitch and i'm going to turn around on ourselves so i'm going to go into this size eight then turn around i'm going to come back through and i, I want to add the pearls on this side so i'm going to come back to the size six one and two which are saying, could you do a little a section of spiral? Absolutely, you could do any section you like. And then I'm gonna pick up a pearl 
with this the spiral, I guess, didn't, like the whole idea of this, that you're only doing um, little bead pieces and you're only doing it like kind of like little sections. So although your necklace is going to grow quicker, but um, it's still like not not as it doesn't it won't take you a lot as long as if it was and then i'm gonna now what shall we add in here i think and i'm gonna go i think a nice crystal would be really nice as our final bead in our little shape here there we go how does that look oh, sitting a bit wonky Go on, straighten up your bead. What did I? No, I didn't. There we go. How, how would think? How does that look? I think that looks really good. Now I'm going to go ahead, turn around and add the crystal in on the other side as well. I like this section as well. So uh, this, this looks good. We could make these sections bigger. You could do a whole necklace just doing those those the beads the way how we've been doing it picking them up and then come and add little sections of little diamond shape little bead work because these really take long that doesn't really take long at all to do unless if your thread get knotted <laughs> i don't know what's going on <laughs> threads get knotted and then it will take longer i think my thread is twisted i need to untwist it to be nice properly that's what's going on right let me just separate it and then i am going to oh, oh no i must have must have stitched through didn't i did i not my thread i got a knot on here have to deal with the knot don't not don't not not want the knot I'm just going to grab another needle so I can pick the knot apart quickly. Bicones would look nice instead of the pearls. Yeah, we could just have bicones. Ooh, we could do it just with bicones and without any seed beads. Let's try that on a section. That would look really good as well. Thanks, Joe. Thank you so much. That's that's a good idea. See, this this is what we all about here on Sunday night. <laughs> you come in, you, I start with an idea, and then we bounce off each other, and we're all doing all sorts of different things. And and it's just like the beauty of it is just each of us is looks every single project, every single bead with different pairs of eyes. So like you know sometimes. I look at something and I come up with an idea and then you look at exactly the same beads and you look at my idea and then you would say like, oh, but what about that or what about this? And I would not have thought of that or, you know, I was so concentrating using the seed beads that I didn't even think that I could just do it with the crystals. But then when somebody else says it, you go like, oh, yeah, really, that's a good idea. So we try that. If this thread is not getting, I don't know what's going on with this thread. I think I have stitched through it somewhere. Right. Okay. So what I am going to do is if this is not going to come apart, it looks like it might just about. But if it doesn't come apart, I would have. I have started a very, very long thread. Right. Yeah, it's spinning quite a lot. So it was twisted. There we go. Okay, so we should have less problems with this twisting now. Okay, so I'm going to go down and add that missing crystal in. We can't have a crystal missing in our necklace. I I think sometimes I when I do a beadwork and go around and I add a rogue bead in or I miss a bead out, it really uh, like visually like you might not even realize it because I might have been beating late at night I the next day if I realize it I have to come back and correct it I think that looks really good oh we could have added something just in the middle that would have looked good as well next section we could do a whole section actually I'm going to run back up before I go to the next section I'm going to run all the way back up 
turn this bead at the top so it doesn't look like wonky and then turn this bead as well at the bottom. So we kind of, then we don't have to come back on all the sections. We just sort of going to go in between sections and every single time you're going up and down in those beads, that's like reinforcing and strengthening. <laughs> come on thread, don't play with me. It just got itself another knot. There we go. That's going to come up. No, still on it. Right, let just... Let's just unknot the knot again. We got a different knot this time. It's really not. <laughs> the knot is not. <laughs> not my night knot. The knot is not giving me, I don't know. A knot, it's a knot, knot, knotty knot. Knotty, knotty knot. Right. And then just while I do that, I'm going to glance up just in a sec to check up on the chat how you all are doing. Joyce saying Creation Station is really, really good for brainstorming. Robin is saying, you thread needs time out. Yeah, I think I need time out, Robin, not the thread. And Vicky is saying, I have been only beading a few months. It's really therapeutic. Um... Vicky, it's like, <laughs> it's like, it, uh, for me at least, and I think quite a few of the ladies in the chat can agree with me, beading is like a bug. Once you caught it, you got it, that's it, you're hooked. And um, like for me, like I could even just play, sit down and play with some beads without any like just to do some like a geometric shape I was doing the other day with bugles with the three mil bugles but they're too small so I'm going to move on and um, try them with larger bugles but um I wanted to do like this cube with with, with beads and um beading is like I think it's a repetitive like if when you start a pattern it's you don't think you just keep doing the same thing over and again because like okay for the first 10 minutes 15 or 20 minutes you if it's an easy pattern you pay attention but then if it's an easy pattern after that it becomes sort of like muscle memory and you can you can just keep on doing it and I really do love it because you can just take your mind if this is not going to come out so can we pull it into your bead that's the next question maybe maybe we'll be fine if we do not we'll just have to live inside a bead hopefully if it doesn't break i pulled the wrong needle through tonight <laughs> it's a naughty naughty night all right let me just go through up through this pearl and then try to pull that knot yeah, I'm just gonna it's it's in, inside one of those beads. I'm just gonna have to forget about it. Right, I'm gonna come up, come up through this eight. Now I, I want to go through this eight from the other side. So when I go back down and I pull it, that will somewhat centralize my eight at the top. Just slightly twist it a bit. And I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. And then we are on to the next section. We already done quite a bit. I'm just looking how big is it. But every time when we are adding these longer sections, we kind of like jump and the knot is inside of the pearl. There we go. Went through. The naughty knot. All the way there. Pull this up. Now I'm going to come through the other side of this size 8 as well. So I will sit nicely. And then I'm going to just follow any thread path I have all the way to the bottom. Any thread path I created, I'm just going to follow it to the other side. Right, what we're doing on the next section. I'm going to pick up my beads, what I need to pick up to get to the next section. 
and then you need to let me know what are we going to add into the next section so i'm going to well, it's a larger crystal next so we have got a little oh i'm totally out of shot um we've done four four different four different little beadwork in between so we've done just a little pongo stitch we've done a little just a bubble of beads we've done smaller bubbles i quite like the look of those as well they could they would look quite good if you just had those i i love the triangles so when uh, triangles i'm going to take another sip of my drink of my water <laughs> evening all i all i think it's not night yeah it's absolutely not night um, not all around. We are the same with thread mini saying, same here, Lucy, I can spend more time unloading knots than beading. Yeah, sometimes it's just a bite, but you just have to go to flow with it. You can get out of the knots quick. I'll be still here the half an hour later. Sometimes, um, this was a live. I don't know if one of them remembers it, but uh, I, don't, I can't remember what stitch we did. But I had this massive knot and I spent like five minutes trying to undo this knot and it just did not want to undo at all. And um, and I was like, all right, okay, I'm going to have to go because I can't like just sit here and try to undo the knot for you. So I finished the knife and all I went, and I went with a, a pair of pliers and just pressed down on the knot and somehow that's like released the thread and the knot just came undone. So all sorts of different things. Do another diamond with crystal only. I think we need to do a different section and then we could do a diamond. So no two sections are kind of like, um, you know, Joyce thing is that water gin. I wish it was gin. It is um, apple and elderflower cordial. It's quite nice. Quite smooth. So next section, let me just pick up the crystals i needed to pick up with a large heart next section let me know what do you want us to do and then we could do a different pattern i think i got an i think yeah we could do something similar than this, but do it with larger beads. I think that would look good as well, because don't forget the, the, the whole idea of this, that we got sort of our speedy parts, where we are just picking up beads, and then we have got our the parts where we do the stitching. So that's the more intricate parts, but we don't want to do too many intricate parts because we want... Like, you know, you, you, the speedy parts. You want to you wanna run this project fairly quickly. By fairly quickly, I mean. So you need to be able to do the necklace in like an hour and a half max. Um, that's the whole idea of it. I need some more of these crystals. And that's it. And large one. How about the little tubular netting? Yeah, we could do something like that. Oh, Lucy and just got coffee and cheesecake. That's two of my favorite things, Lucy. Thanks for making me jealous. Co coffee and cheesecake. I love the honeycomb cheesecake. That's my favorite. But I like New York cheesecake as well. I'm not, not too keen on when they put berries on the top. Oh, Michelle is saying good accord. It sounds lovely. Yeah, he's really nice. Loving all the different shades of purple. Sometimes I find just drinking apple is, um, I don't know, you get a bit bored with it. But with the elderflower, it just gives like that little bit of a, I don't know. So, if we did a spiral bit, what can we do? We could do like a little Russian spiral bit. Um, if we, or a spiral staircase bit would be better, I think because um, we would be traveling the same direction and we don't want to have to like sort of, um, <laughs> just that she's got the red, <laughs> bless you. 
Liz is saying it was New York cheesecake. It's got it's gone already. Oh bless. Oh no, no, didn't leave anything for me. Oh right. So I'm gonna do a little bit of spiral staircase because then the beads are gonna be sitting the right way. So I'm gonna pick up five. No, because we won't come up and do that. So I'm gonna pick up two of my size eight. And then I'm gonna pick up so at the moment we're just tapering it out three of my size 11s and I got a knot again I mean I don't know what's going on like I just pulled it through and it's got knotted like tonight maybe we just like maybe I should go and get that gin I don't think I don't actually know if I got any gin at home but um probably not right so the next one I'm gonna pick up one size eight and this time I'm gonna pick up four size 11. So I'm still just, and I'm gonna come through and just make sure this is nice and tight on the top. I'm gonna to come through all three of the size eights. Just like that, pulling it nice and tight. Now next one, I'm gonna pick up another size eight and I'm gonna pick up five size 11. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. I'm gonna take this all down. Is it five or six? Six, another one jumped on the needle. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's so, so windy outside. It's so stormy. Now I'm gonna come through all four of them, just like that. And from here on, if my thread doesn't get knotted, <laughs> we're gonna be start moving down on our spiral. So this is how we started it. So we got like a little bit of a tapered start to it and we're gonna do a bit of a tapered finish to it as well. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead, pick up one size eight and I'm gonna pick up five eleven. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna take this down now I'm going to go through four of the size eight. So I'm going to miss the very first one and I'm going through the second, third, fourth and fifth. So we are moving down and when I pull this up, you can see the spiral started to kind of go down. I'm going to pick up another size eight and another five size 11. One, two, three, four, five size 11. Taking it all the way down. Now this time, I'm gonna come through four of the size eights again. I'm gonna miss the first and the second, and I'm gonna come through the third to the sixth. Now you need to push the loops to one side as you're going around. So I'm always pushing them towards the left, and I'm doing my next loop on the right. So again, one size eight, five size 11. Taking it all the way down. Then I'm gonna miss one, two, three, and I'm gonna come through the fourth. Now you don't have to count from this side because you kind of can see where that bead goes in, so you're coming through the next. But if you're like not sure, you always count backwards. So you want you know you want to go to four size eight. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. So I know I need to come through those four. I'm pulling it through and I'm just gonna keep continue adding them these the same way until I have my desired length, which I was probably gonna do maybe another half an inch. Now, what you could do is not just use seed beads, but you could add crystals into the middle of the loops. You could do all sorts of different things with this. You could really have fun with it. Adding all sorts of different beads into it. So one, two, three, four. There we go. Joe saying, I'll take a look. I haven't done for the, um, what, what, what was it? Joe just done a netting necklace picturing groove. Oh, bless. I love a bit of netting. I really do love. Um, you could do so many different things with netting. It's so effective. I love all the stitches, really. I think it's, 
you do like if you if if like a couple of weeks ago we're doing herringbone and you do it and then and then you're like oh i don't know what shall i do what i fancy doing and then you want to go to something different but i find that you're always like running around in circles because you go like um but some of them use it a bit more so other ones less but you go like oh well um herringbone pot brick stitch right angle weave and then back to having bone big stitch and then like not not necessarily in the, that order but like i find myself it's the same as using beads that miracle beads just because joe's here <laughs> i would go and use miracle beads for like a month and then or two months and then don't use them for like four months and then you kind of like you kind of forget about them and you're like, oh yeah, they're existing. Let's go back and use them. And you get all excited about them again. So the beauty of bead ring and, and anything like, it doesn't just have to be jewelry, like home decor with beads and anything like this, because there is so many thousands of different type of beads, different colors, different shapes to work with. And it's just never ending. I, I just find like I could never get bored um, never get bored with beads. Right, is that enough? Let's measure it to another one. Maybe a couple more. And then we can taper down. So I'm still picking up one size 8. And five size 11. And then I'm coming through the last four. Now you need to start... I'm, I'm, we're going to taper down on this end. I'm going to show you how to do that. Coming up, picking up another size eight. One, two, three, four, five. So this is my last full set I'm going to be adding. And then I'm going to be going up to the last four. Now, instead of picking up a size eight, I'm not going to pick up a size eight this time. And instead of picking up a size Five size 11, I'm just going to pick up four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to go through one, two, three of the size eights. Then I'm going to pick up three size 11. So I'm going down in size. And I'm going to go through just the two size eights at the top. And that's it. We got our little section. So I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to pick up my larger beads again. So I need you to let me know in the chat what will be our next section. What shall we use for our next section? What shall we do? Um, maybe we could go back to another little bubble or um, go back to one of these flatter stitches. And then we could decorate this with pearls. And we, uh, we'll do that at the, uh, when we come back. Um, he could even do it with size eights and size sixes and then add a larger pearl on the top of it. That would look good as well. So do a different version of that. Right, need some more from underneath the pearls here. Which app would you like? My watch just started talking to me. Which app would you like to? I don't know sometimes what's going on with my watch, but it just starts it just starts to talk to you in random things. Right. And there we go. And then I need six millimeter pro, six millimeter crystal, and a large the bead. There we go. So next section what we're going to do for this section shall we just recap the sections quickly so we got a little spiral we did a little diamond then we had this little I, I love this i think this looks really good i love this as well this little bauble and then we had and then we had this section so what shall we do for the next section flat stitches next yeah let's do something flat um i agree with you rachel so what flat stitch shall we do Oh, Lucy's saying her watch randomly talks to her too as well. Uh, Joe's saying, haha, I've been using Miracle Beads for about six years and I'm still not bored of them. I like how they work with crystals and seed beads. They are really beautiful. I, I like the, the glow you get from them. Right, so flat stitch. We could do... Flat stitch like third section, but maybe with crystals. Yeah, we could add crystals. And... Ooh, let's turn 
I'll tell you what we do. We're going to turn the squares because they're more like diamonds in the first section, like stuck together. So let's turn them into squares, which is again going to be like um, right angle V, but we can add a pearl on the top and we're going to add a pearl on both sides as well. So I'm going to pick up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight size eights. I'm kind of saying this is looking really pretty tonight. I'm going to come through the first two and pull this up. So I'm going to pull this up. Maybe I should have started with 11. My thing will be good. I'm going to, this, this will, mm, we need a bead underneath it. Okay, back up, back up the two beads. We need a bead underneath it, otherwise it's going to look runky. I'm going to pick up nine beads. Then come through the second and the third. And then I'm going to pick up. <laughs> this is saying my watch also tells me to stand up way too much. So like if you um, like on Sunday mornings, usually I like to have a little lay in. I mean, sometimes I get one, sometimes I not. But if I can help it, like Sunday mornings for me, like I like to have a little laying. So, but every Sunday morning when I have a laying, I have to take my watch off <laughs> because it keeps saying to me, it's time to move. <laughs> it's time to get up. <laughs> I was like, no, <laughs> no way. So are we adding a crystal on the top or are we adding a pearl on the top? I think the six millimeter crystal is quite big, but maybe the four millimeter crystal actually will sink in our little hole there but then it looks i don't know the, i think the pearl maybe the pearl will look nicer what do we think pearl or crystal first of all oh oh lucy we got hope yay um Kelly, <laughs> I'm following you right after the live. She said she disabled that feature. Ooh, I have to have a look at that. That that would be good. Yeah, that stands up to weigh too much. So, okay, so pearl. Am I adding a pearl or a crystal in the middle? Um, because I use size eights, maybe if I used up size elevens, it would have looked a bit more delicate. We might even be able to get away with a larger pearl on it. And just pull this tight so once we add the things on the top this is going to look like a bit more squarish maybe you could put or is a six mil six mil is might be too big four mil four mil will fit right in the middle um silly saying pearl joy is saying the crystal ties in better with the other sections okay so four millimeter crystal will sit right in the middle. So then we don't have to add both sides. We just have to add one side. Maybe that will do. But I think I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come around and add the ha sort of tidy up the corners. Right. I'm gonna make sure this is pulled down all the way so there is no gaps. I'm gonna pick up. Actually, let's go around all of those beads because that will probably. That will probably, be the best to have no gaps because otherwise my thread can travel backwards. So I'm going to pick up a crystal and then as I'm like, is this is bead number one, bead number two on my circle. I'm going to take a diagonal across and I want to go through this and this bead here. So I'm exiting at the top. I'm going to come from the bottom and go through. So if you look at it, like you should have four slides, two beads on the left, two beads on the right, two beads on the top, two beads on the bottom and go up through the two beads on the right. And then as I'm pulling it this tight, I'm gonna push that crystal in right into the middle, just like that. I'm not sure. It does fit in there, what do we think? And then we would go ahead and we pick up six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and come through these last two again, just like that. Then we, maybe we need to do a couple, I'll, I'll do a couple more stitches because sometimes it's like <laughs> you just haven't done enough yet. 
and then I'm going to pick up a crystal and I'm going to come through the two on the right hand side and pull this up nice and tight so this one's going to fit in here and then like of the the I'm going to come back down on the side I'm going to pull this into the middle um, just in a bit and then I'm going to pick up six of the size eights again one, two. So if I wanted to do it with size 11s, I probably would have had three on each side, not two, to give the same amount of space. Picking up another crystal and then coming up through the last two here. I'm just holding on to it so the thread doesn't travel backwards. So what do we think? I think when we come back down, we need to add a seed bead in here and that will tie it more to like we're going to run around it. So I'm going to add two more. So let's go for a section of five, three, four, five, six. Coming through from the bottom. And then picking up a crystal. And as I'm coming up to the top here, I'm going to go to the right hand side, come to those two and adding the last one in. One, two, three, four, five, six, coming through that again. So I'm, I'm creating a frame first with my seed beads. Then I'm adding my crystal right into the middle. That's what I'm doing. So I've got five sections, which I think is, is probably enough. Then I'm going to go pull this tight, this last section tight. Then I'm going to go ahead. And I'm, as I'm going to turn this, I'm going to run down on one side. So I'm going to come through these two, back down towards my beadwork here. I'm going to pick up one size eight and go through these two. I'm going to pick up another size eight, go to these two, pick up another size eight. So I'm just running down and turning my <laughs> sort of slightly circles into more like a ladder and then when I get down to the bottom I'm gonna go across actually I'm gonna add that bead in so I'm gonna come down I'm gonna run down shall I run down to the other side or oh, we'll be all right let's come through so and just have a look at this if I ah oh, could have done that if we had an extra bead there okay so because we haven't got an extra bead there because if I, if I if I came up in the middle we would not have had any problem well it's gonna be and this one is gonna be a little bit of an angle but when we do the next one we will be we will be okay so I'm gonna go up on this side I'm going to leave that, that one alone at the bottom, pick up one, go through the next two, pick up one, go to the next two, pick up one, go to the next two, pick up one, go to the last two at the top. So what we should have have done, because at the moment we are connected like into the corner. So what we should have done is being connected right at the bottom. So to counter um, our mistake, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to travel to this corner. And then this section is going to be like kind of like corner to corner, like it's going to sit on a little bit of an angle. But if I then go up in the middle here and continue my next section in, in evenly then it would just look like wonky but because it is wonky we're going to make it deliberately wonky i hope that makes sense so i'm going to pick up a c a size eight and then i'm going to go ahead and pick up my next section which is going to be with the larger the larger hearts again so just keep on oh, crystal first crystal pearl Smaller crystal, smaller pearl, then the three. Then large heart, then pearl again. Then a four millimeter crystal, then a 
six millimeter pro, large crystal, and that bead again. So I actually got, I'm totally estimating this because I haven't got my ruler, but I have got enough to like go around my neck already, but we, I'm gonna keep on going to make it a little bit longer. So next section, um, we could we could have any any sections. Shall we do another bauble bauble like one? So how can we perfect this and make it um, make it even better? So we could use instead of the crystal, we could use a pearl. Or shall we try it with size eleven beads and see how they look? The, how how does it look like if it looks like more delicate? But then like that's kind of with size eleven beads, I guess. Now I'm gonna keep it the same. Reminds me of the snake chain bracelet. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that that section, that very very very, it's the same technique, but with the snake chain, we did it with size eleven, size eleven seed beads. And then we could do another diamond shape after that. What size Toho and crystal are you using? So all sorts of the different sizes mean of whatever is in the um whatever is in the kit. In the creation station bundle, right. Okay, so if we're gonna do another little, do we need, do we need to come back and then turn it? Or are we okay without, if I picked up, if we had a bit of a, mm, so I'm gonna pick up a size eight. If I added a size six in, I just need to link through. Okay, so instead of picking up one size eight, I'm gonna pick up, but no, but I still need to go through. Come back through that one. I mean, like if he, if he not worried about turning the bead so much, then you might see a little bit of thread path, but I think it would be okay. But let's hook into, let's start with a size six so we know which one do we need to come through again. And then I'm going to go ahead, um, I'm going to do, do size eights again, but I'm going to pick up the pearls this time. So we did five size eights to start with. Then I'm going to pick up a pearl, the four millimeter pearl. And then I'm going to pick up another five size eights. One, two, three, or five and then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a size six on the other side and I'm gonna come back and pick up five so oh yeah I know I know what's the difference why why this one is sitting more like a bubble because the bead at the top it's turned and this one because we didn't turn on the top bead if it's more of a straight so that's that's the difference so i'm gonna go back on myself pick up five five size eight a pearl or did i did i only had one of those you only had one of those so i'm gonna pick up four size eight so not all the pearls are going to be on the same and then six size eight so the second pearl is going to be slightly different different position from the first one and then I'm going to come through this top one and I'm going to have to come this way so it's and actually before I add any more I could run up and straighten this one up so even before I add any more beads or any more rows just to not to I'm going to run up into those beads and turn around on the other side just to straighten this size six up. So it sits the right way. If my thread doesn't get knotted again, <laughs> I'll just pull it up nicely, there we go. We don't want any knots tonight, thread, and no more knots. There we go. I'm just gonna run up. It's good to run up because then it's you are really strengthening this part of the necklace as well. Right, I'm up, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go up in this bead and just run around my last little round here. 
and then go back down just to turn my thread puff around. That's that's all I'm doing. I'm going down. So anybody who is joining us every Sunday night, we do a we do this. I call it Creation Station beading live because we come up with designs together we beat together we play with all sorts of different patterns um i got a bundle which is like a kind of working from so if you are interested you can get the bundle as well and then you can make along if you make something or made something up please send me a picture and i can bring it in and show it to everybody like ruth did um earlier she showed her picture of so it's just really nice way for everybody to Kind of like do things together but as many of us in here i need to go to this size six as many of us here we would do different things like completely different things like different minds <laughs> come up with different ideas and that's that's the beauty of it so i picked up four size eight pearl six size eight oops <laughs> and then, then i dropped four <laughs> Now, not just a net threading, I'm dropping the beads as well. I'm going to come through this at the bottom. Pull this up nice and tight. Now I'm going to pick up three and the pearl, then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to come down through the top just to go through that size six. Pull this up and repeat this again. So I'm going to pick up three, and then the pearl, and then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then coming through that bottom again. So we got our another little bubble. So what do we like better, the one with the crystal or the one with the pearl? I think they equally look good, to be honest. Good evening, Julie. Good evening, Angela. I hope you're doing okay. So, next section is the small, um, the small heart. I haven't got too much thread, so what I might do, I park my design on this side, because i still got a couple of feet, but I'm just going to put this to the side. I left the bobbin on on the other side, so I'm going to go up, return back to this and then um, take thread off the bobbin and continue my beadwork this way. Oh look, there's a pearl <laughs> stuck in the middle of my thread there, there we go. I'm going to add a needle onto this and then continue my beadwork, so just sort of flopped it. So before I go into the next section, let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see what um what sort of sections we've been up and doing i think like if if like you could do all sorts of different ones that like sections in between like little beaded sections but i think it would look really good just to oh, this is a bit of a long thread just to do the same sections in between so just to do this or just to do this and just really that will make it look like more even but it's personal preference really Right, I am going to do a, I'm going to do a triangle next and we're going to do it with crystal beads we said. So, um, do I want to do the whole of the triangle with crystals or do, we have, do I want to add any seed beads in or do I just want the crystals in the middle and seed beads on the side, let me know. What would you like me to do um, for the for the next, we're going to do a little diamond. Crystals only, or do we want seed beads in between as well? What do we're doing? Do let me know. I'm going to just pull this down, take another sip of my drink, and I'm just going to let you, give you two seconds to diamond shape with crystals and seed beads, Joe is saying. So, do we want the crystals on their own, if we don't add any seed bead in there, they're going to sit together very well, because um, they're going to lock into each other. 
because like the, the crystal has got diamond shape already and then the seed beads are more like sort of got a flattish roundy side. So I'm going to propose, and Lucy's just saying crystals and seed beads together, I'm going to propose that we either use crystals on three rows and use seed beads at the end, and I think that's going to that's gonna then um, link in well, or we do crystals just all the way. But I think, let's try this. So... I'm going to go ahead, um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pick up a size 8 and before I go any further, I'm going to go back all the way into these beads and anchor that bead down. Maybe that's what I should be doing with these sections. The first anchor on, to anchor on the, the connector bead, as we could call it, because then we'll have a tighter finish and then do the section. Right, going down, I need to come through the other side of this, so I'm making this more even. Pull this up nice and tight, then going back up into my bead, and we're going to start the little diamond. So I think I'm going to do two seed beads and then three crystals and two seed beads. And that will give us crystals in the middle locked together and seed beads on the end. Just come through that. I think I've taken a bit too long thread here, but never mind. So two seed beads, three crystals another two seed beads and then we need our size 8 to turn around look i said two seed beads and i picked up three <laughs> what's going on tonight beads jumping on my i can't count the tree i mean come on <laughs> this is not fair right i'm gonna come back through the first of this, let me just zoom in so you can see better. The first size six, just missing that size eight. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up nice and tight. And then I'm going to pick up one size six. I'm going to come through the one crystal. Just like that. Then I'm going to, oh, i got another idea. And I'm going to pick up a crystal. Miss a crystal, go through the next one. Oh, this is not going to sit the way how I want it to sit. It's not going to work the way how I want it to work. Because I want the crystal to sit in that gap. I know what I'm going to do. Instead of picking up one crystal here, let me just come back and hopefully, yeah. Instead of picking up one crystal, no, it's not gonna, that's not going to work either. Okay, taking the crystal off. Um, I want, I want this. So if I want those to sit corner to corner and like locked in with each other, then I'm going to have to, let me just pick up that one, I'm kind of going to have to come out of that bead there. Okay, so I'm going to go and going to go all the way, all through three crystals for now. Let's just, let's just have a little play with this. <laughs> All three crystals now. I'm going to pick up a size 6. I'm going to go to my top. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn around in the size 8. Just like that. I'm going to turn back down. I'm going to come out of the size 6. 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up a size 11. It's probably about the size I need. I'm going to pick up two crystals and another size 11. And I'm going to jump straight to the bottom. And go through those. So these should then sit. Can you see? Just to the side. We're going to turn around. Turn around and then come back through the two size sixes on the other side. I'm going to pick up size 11. I'm going to pick up two crystals and another size 11. And then I'm going to go up through the two size six on this side. Now I, I'm, hmm, I don't think we can put in another one here because if, if, if you added another one I think it would either flop to the front or to the back so we're going to have to leave it like that and for the next one we're going to have to think about how we're going to mm -hmm, and we're going to have to do it in a, in a different way and I think I got an idea how we're going to do it for the next one they're going to sit differently so I'm going to go just going to go back up through any of the rows doesn't really matter which one just want to get to the other side so I'm going to leave this one it's not not so much of a um, <laughs> diamond shape but you know we start with something and then finish with something different I think it looks cool like a little honeycomb in the middle the camera focuses um, a little flower Ooh. <laughs> you're gonna hit me what I'm gonna suggest now what we should have done is get a pearl and have a pearl in the middle look how pretty that would have been that's a really nice that would be a really nice little feature you could do a whole necklace just like that um having these sections and maybe a larger beads and that section larger beads that section larger beads i think that would look really really cool with a little pearl in the middle like a little flower or maybe, maybe we have to i don't know how many sections more do we need but maybe we <laughs> <laughs> you might have to experiment with that one one more time right okay so I'm going to pick up I'm picking up the small um, the small crystal the small small I had the large one here so the small one is coming in my pattern so I'm picking up eight millimeter bead just my pattern, my normal pattern, and I'm and I can see my thread is twisted already, so I'm just gonna untwist it before I go any further, because we not not want any knots. Knots are not included. <laughs> not not not. We don't want knots to be included, right? And picking up the heart from top to bottom. Four millimeter pearl. 1mm crystal, 6mm pearl, 6mm crystal, and a larger bead again. I'm really liking how this is turning out. So, now, what section we're going to add? Um, I think I'm going to do another one of these, because I really like this one. But this time, instead of adding 5 seed beads, um, I know we're going to do 5 sections. That's what we are going to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and... I need one size eight. I need one size six. I'm gonna do the five section first, and then I'm gonna pick up one, two, three. Ooh, just pick up three beads. No, I need the length. No, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna change a bit. I'm gonna pick up three beads. Then I'm gonna pick up size six, another three, another six, another three. So we're gonna have more sections. And then we're going to do five. I think that's about the right size. And then another size eight so we can turn around. And there we go. Go all the way to the top. And actually, I might even go up and turn, go up and down in this section again. So we don't have to return here anymore. All this nice and tight. Oh, we didn't, did we turn? Oh, yeah, we did. I'm going to come through the eight into the bead all the way to the other 
side. So we will have three pieces of threads in the crystals and pearls here, making our necklace super strong. There we go, pulling it through all the way to the top. And then connecting to the other side of the size 8. Pulling this down. There we go. And then we're going to go backwards and forwards and create a little bubble, bubble, little bubbles, <laughs> bubbles. So I'm going to come through here. I'm going to come through and just straighten it up the size 8. And then into the size 6. I'm going to pick up three size 11s and go through the next size 6. And another three size 11, next size 6, all the way down, up and down. I'm going to run a couple of times, and actually we'll, we'll end up five times. And then we end up, went up all the way. I think I messed up because I went up to those beads again, so we're going to have two. This will be come through one of them again. It doesn't matter. We might, we might end up with four. <laughs> we end up with four beads, not five. Let's have a look how far that's last three. I think four just gonna look like herringbone to be honest. Now I'm gonna go run back up. It's a little bit tight, but I think we will be all right. So through the six. Come on. Getting caught on that bead. We need to incorporate seed beads at some point. As you use seed beads on the other, uh, perhaps said a uh, said at the end. Um, what do you mean? Like we use the seed beads up from the back, or uh, because I think I got two. I got both of the colors here. I think we have used up more seed beads in the other pack because we've been doing other bits. You can always add more to the, the bundle. You can always add more seed beads or any seed beads what you have as well. Seed beads are just seed beads at the end of the day. They are different quality seed beads, but seed beads are just seed beads. Right, I'm coming through the eight and I'm going to go back then and I'm going to add a fourth little. Oh, I got another idea. <laughs> I just got another idea off of this, which we could do, like we could have a pearl, like we could have gone down with one strand with a pearl and then come back and add the seed beads on top of it. I think that would have looked really good as well. There is just so many different things you can do, like it's so, adding the fourth one. Oh, I'll come to the size 11, so I'm going to back up a little bit. There's so many different, the possibilities really end this. There we go. And going up through this and adding the threes. Now I could go back and add a fifth one, but I think this one looks all right as four. Let me just pull this up, come through that size eight. This one looks good as four. Don't we think it, look, it actually does look like a little bit of like sort of a herringbone square. I'm going to leave it afar. That was about the crystals. I still got some more crystals left. Um, as well. Um, it's only using a few, like even the small ones. You're not really using that many in there. And with the, even the formula as well, there's a hundred on the strands, so I still got like more than half a strand left there. Right, okay, I'm picking up my next. Oh, look. <laughs> there's a boo boo here. I picked up the heart the wrong way. <laughs> I'm not going to take it back, but, the, but there's a boo boo there. 
Oh well, I think this is just going to be the naughty boo-boo night tonight. So I'm going to add my next section. Actually this is the next section is the large heart. So crystals, pearls, let me just grab some. So eight millimeter, large crystal, large pearl, small crystal, small pearl, heart from top to bottom, small pearl, the four millimeter pearl. Oh, come on, I'm chasing it around the mat here. You know what? I'm going to use a different one. One crystal, six mil pearl. And then six mil crystal and another eight. So, um, what section shall we do next? We got quite a collection now. Let me just... We got, we done eight, seven different sections. So this will be the eighth one. Let me just pull this in. I'm just going to zoom out a tiny bit so you can see it. So we done all sorts of, all sorts of different sections. What section shall we do next? Do let me know. Do you wax co your cord? Um, the thread, no, so I'm using Cipollon and Cipollon is already waxed. You can use beeswax if you want to, but I find it with beeswax that it's like clogs up the needles, the iron needle, and then it's a bit annoying to use. But if you're using, um, if you're using something like, um, Nymo, you would have to, I, I would, I would recommend to add beeswax on, on the top of that. Okay, so Victoria seed uh, heart section with seed beads. Crawl. We would you would love to see the heart section with seed bead crow in between. Um, we could do crow. Yeah, that could be a section. If not, that we could do that. Um, if we do crow, we could do like different sides. Um, just to just our different crossover bits. Um, or just do with seed beads. Hmm. I'm gonna do it a bit size it seed bit so you can see better what I'm doing. But yeah, I've got three millimeter pearls. Three millimeter pearls would have been really good um to put in there. So we could have we could have we, but never mind. I'm just gonna do it with size eight beads. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna pick up a size eight, I'm gonna run back and I'm gonna anchor that down like I did it with the previous one because that actually worked out quite well to tighten it on and then we didn't have to worry about pulling it tight so much before we started or added any more onto it come on pearl this pearl doesn't want me to go through it again and then i'm going to come through the size eight at the top And then go all the way down. Right, you're gonna do the actually. We're gonna do the crawl, and then I think we will be we will be the right place to join the two up. So, because we had hearts, hearts yet yeah, cool. Okay, and I added the heart on the wrong way again. Never mind. Um, so I'm going to come through this. So with Crow, you're going to have to start with four seed bead foundation. But we got one seed bead at the bottom, so I'm going to kind of have to link four seed beads into one seed bead. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up four size eights. I'm going to come through that one again to form a loop. And then I'm going to pick up another, this is just to have, so we will have foundation. Pick up another four, come through that one again. And then I'm going to go ahead, I want that loop at the front. I'm going to go up into the first two, any of the loops. 
actually three, and then come up through the second and third on the other side, and go into this second and third on this loop. So all I did is edit four, so we got kind of like a triangle going on here. I need to zoom in. <laughs> so we got like a little triangle going on here and then we got two seed beads at the top and on the other side we got the same but when we look at it from above we got four seed beads to work with which is what we need for cubic right angle weave. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up three seed beads this time. One, two, three. This bead I'm coming through, I'm going to come through that bead again from the other side. Come on camera, I want you to focus on me. And then I'm going to travel along. I'm going to travel along one bead on the four on the base. Then I'm going to pick up only two seed beads. One, two. So I'm going to borrow this, this three we just added, I'm going to borrow one from that, the one closest to where my thread is, and then I'm going to come through the one on the base. Oh, no, we don't want to not, thank you. So we got, if I'm look at it from top, I've got like two little walls there. And then I'm going to come through the next one on the base, I'm going around. Then I'm going to pick up another two. Again, I'm going to borrow one from the previous loop and come through that one I'm just coming out of. And finally, on the fourth side, I'm going to go along on the bottom. I'm going to, oops, I'm going to go up on the side of the first loop created and pick up one and come down on the side of the last loop created. If I had two different colors, it would really like, would be easier to uh, kind of like explain. And now I'm going to travel back up to the top and I'm going to sew together these four. One, two, three, four on the top and come through the first one again. So again, I got four seed beads to start with. Like, how can we spice this up so you can see it better? But, ooh, I got, I got crystals. I got three million of the crystals here. They will work because they are kind of right size. Cool. So I'm going to use some of these three millimeter crystals. Crystal would be nice and probably in the middle. Yeah. So I'm going to this time and again i got the four there can you say got four beads there i'm gonna pick up one crystal this three millimeter crystal one size eight one three millimeter crystal and come through that bead again and pull this up tight then i'm gonna go and travel along of the bottom four like just one bead this time I'm going to pick up one crystal and one seed bead because I'm going to borrow the crystal from the previous loop. So I'm going to go through that crystal and the seed bead I'm coming out of. Then I'm going to turn it 90 degrees again. I'm going to come through the bottom. I'm going to go along the bottom. I'm going to pick up a crystal seed bead. I'm going to come down through that crystal and along at the bottom. And finally, I'm going to go along at the bottom. I'm going to come up. I'm going to come up through the crystal on the first loop. Pick up one seed bead. Come down on the crystal on the last loop. And then come along at the bottom. And now I'm just going to go up to the top, 
And let me just bring it up. Is it going to focus on it? Yeah, no, yeah, no. I'm focusing on the background too much on the little dots. Let me just get rid of that. There we go. No. If I put something behind it. Yeah, if I put my hand behind it. So we got four sides with the crystals. And then we got four seed beads at the top again. So I'm going to go up to the top. So I'm going to come through the crystal. And I'm going to sew these four seed beads together. One. Two. Three. Four. Then come through the first one. And pull this up nice and tight. And then we could add another section. So I'm going to add another section just with seed beads. So we kind of like mirror the bottom parts of it. But I think it looks really nice with the crystals. We could do a whole pattern just with a whole necklace, just with the crystals and the seed beads together. I think that would look really good. Or pearls. Pearls would, pearls would look good as well. Ooh, maybe I'm going to, I might check that out actually, to do it one with pearls. So I need a few more size eights. And again, I'm going to try to bring it in. I'm going to pick up three. I'm going to come through that bead again. So I've got my first set of four beads. Then I'm going to come along just like that. I'm going to pick up one, two size eights. I'm going to borrow one from the previous loop and I'm going to go into the one I was coming out of. Just like that. And then I'm going to come along one at the bottom. I'm going to pick up two again. I'm going to borrow one from the previous loop. And I'm just so I can hold it so you can see it. Come through the bottom one as well. Make sure they sit up. There we go. And then come along the bottom. We've done three sides. And I need to go up the side of the first loop we created. Then I'm just going to pick up one bead. And I'm going to close this in. So I'm going to come down the last loop I just added. There we go, and along the seed bead at the bottom, then go up, and then I'm going to sew these four together. And there we go, and now I'm going to go ahead and create like a little anchor bead on the other side. So, those two, those two, yeah, so I'm coming out of these two here. I'm going to go and pick up three seed beads and I'm going to come through these two again. Then I'm going to travel through the next two. I'm going to pick up one, go through the third on that loop, pick up another one and come through the two on the top of my last cube. Then go up through into that one seed bead. And then we are ready and we are actually, I think it's long enough. We're going to connect the last one and the first one up. Yeah, yeah, we're going to finish something. Last one and the first up, first up. Usually in Creation Station we get up to all sorts of different things. But we never actually finish, manage to finish. So that's our little, really I don't know, even the camera is playing up tonight now. So I'm going to add the last section in. I'm going to finish this. So large bead. Crystal six millimeter pearl. Where are you? There you are. Six millimeter pearl. Four millimeter crystal. Four millimeter pearl. Then I need a small heart. Four millimeter pearl. Four millimeter crystal. Six millimeter pearl. Six millimeter crystal and large bead. There we go. 
I'm going to pull this up and then I'm going to hook into the very other side of my necklace. I'm going to come through that, um, I'm going to come through from this side. And then I'm going to run all the way back. I'm going to hook into that bead, run all the way to the top and then I'm going to knot my tail and then my working yarn together. So I have a nice strong finish. And let's pull this up. Just get this thread out of the way. I'm gonna wrap that on my finger. I'm making sure it's out of the way. Right, gonna run all the way down. In my last section. Go to that size eight and then coming to the top. And I'm gonna, as I get to the top, before I go into the size six, because I'm gonna go ahead and um, knot my tail end and my working end together. So we connect them up nicely and securely. So I'm just going to do two or three half a knot just to be sure I got a good, I want a knot now. <laughs> I want to now, we didn't want a knot, now we want a knot. So knot it together, there we go. And then all it's left to do is to work off the threads and I go through some beads, do a couple of one thread knots, so I'm just going to leave that, I'm going to come back and I'm going to put it on and I'm going to show you that um, probably hasn't got the right colour to show up so much. Maybe we should have added one more section, but I think, let me just come up a bit, I think it's kind of like the right, and then you can wear it, like however you wear it, and you've got all different sections, but it's still looking really good because overall you've got sections which are exactly the same. So what do we think? I think my comments are stopped again. Sometimes it do it, so let me pull it up and let's see um, what you've been saying. Lucy Singh looks lovely. Um, there we go. So, I can't pull those comments in actually here. Such a lovely creation station. I really enjoyed it tonight. So, I'm going to just turn you down and just show you this. No, zoom out one. There we go. So, you can see the whole sort of necklace in, in curled up there. Zoom out a tiny bit so you can see what, what we've been up to. I really like it. I think, I'm thinking, it would be so nice to do a necklace where you have the same beaded sections in between as well. So that, that could be an option to do. I quite like this. I think we could run with it and we could even do necklaces or, or like have little pearls in the middle. I like, I love... The cubic right angle, I'm going to try it with pearls instead of the crystals to stand out with size eights, um, definitely. This one we might have, should have added something on the top, um, maybe a crystal again, I don't know. Um, I, I really love these little baubles, I think they these looks quite good as well. There's another way we could have done just um, little baubles like this, maybe we have, have a little play with that next week and just have like little baubles in between the the larger beads i think that would have looked lovely but i think overall i'm really really pleased with it i really love this section i think this would look really cute so if we had just one large bead and then we had these sections but what we could do is to have one, one uh, we, could, we can make them equal, obviously in the back of the neck, but at the front, what we could do with this one, to have five seed beads on one of those, four seed beads on the second, and only three seed beads at the top, and what would have that do? That would have like turned it into a little section like that, so we have to play with that as well. Oh, Bonnie's saying, just found your channel. I'm going to keep you all up. Oh, thank you so much. Um, if you like, like and subscribe, then I'm sure YouTube is going to show you or tell you the next time when I'm going live. Um, it's uh, send your notification, but make sure you, you turn the bell on because it's not automatically 
turned on. Um, Lucy's posted out the group. We've got Facebook groups as well where you can hang out with all the lovely ladies. Um, they be saying this amazing Michelle saying love the design so th this is like what I say we do here in the creation station we kind of make up a rough design but from here you really need to go on and and tweak it to your taste and make it make it looks Max saying looks great as well make it look like what's um what's how you want it to look like uh, Louis saying she's gonna make it too and um, looks lovely kitty um looks lovely really enjoyed it yeah, Facebook book, bustling be all. Right, okay, so that's it for me today. I am not back live until Friday, on Friday and Total the Beats. I am in Beat Club on, I'm going to show you what we're doing in Beat Club on Tuesday and Thursday. And if you don't know what Beat Club is, do check it out, beatclub.online. We're doing this beautiful um, Parpuka Beads bracelet this week. Um, Beat Club is, um, we do lessons on Zoom. So there is four Zoom sessions a week and you can come and join any of them. These are we, we, that This is what we're doing this week. So I will be there on Tuesday and Thursday. Friday, I will be live at Total Beads. And next Sunday, I'll be back here at 7 p.m. I am here um, ooh, next Sunday. Natalie's going to be down. So you're going to have double the trouble next Sunday, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm going to have to, I don't know, I'm going to have to her to get her on the other side and, and make a few bits, as, make something as well. So next Sunday, Natalie's going to be here. She's going to be double the trouble um, for you. And I'll, um, yeah, so I'll see you next week. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go and, I'm going to go and see if the kids are in bed. <laughs> it's good to post nine here now. Um, we're over a little bit. So I'll see you next week. Everybody have a beautiful